Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Chemical Engineering Gate 2021 paper solution for the questions 2, 6, 10 in the subject Fluid Mechanics. So before going to the questions, please subscribe my channel and share my videos to many of the students who are studying this subject. So first question is, sea water is passed through a column containing a bed of resin beads. So here density of sea water is given as 1025 kg per meter cube. Density of resin beads is mentioned 1330 kg per meter cube. Diameter is given as 50 micrometers. What fraction of the bed at the onset of fluidization is 0 0.4? Acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second square. For this, the pressure drop per unit length of the bed at the onset of fluidization should be find out. So first we will start with the given terms in the question. So the solution for this. So the density of seawater is given as rho f which is equal to 1025. Density of resin beads 1330 kg per meter cube. Diameter is mentioned as 50 micrometers. Gravity 9.81. Void fraction epsilon 0 0.4. So for calculating this, since it's a, since sea water is passing through a column of column containing a bed of resin beads, we we'll use the formula pressure drop per unit length of the bed at the onset fluidization is given by delta P by L is equal to rho P minus rho F into 1 minus epsilon into Z. Substituting the above terms in this equation. So delta P by L is equal to 1330 minus 1025 into 1 minus 0 0.4 into 9.81. So calculating this equation, we get the answer as 1795.23 Pascal per meter. So the pressure drop per unit length of the bed at the onset fluidization is given as 1795.23. So, so, we have finally find out the answer with a simple formula. Next question is, consider a steady flow of an incompressible Newtonian fluid through a smooth circular pipe. So, here alpha laminar and alpha turbulence denote the kinetic energy correction factors for laminar and turbulent flow through the pipe respectively. For turbulent flow through the pipe, alpha turbulent is equal to V0 by V bar whole cube into 2n square by 3 plus n into 3 plus 2n. Here V bar is the average velocity, V0 is the center line velocity and n is the parameter. So the ratio of average velocity to the center line velocity for turbulent flow through the pipe is given by V bar by V0 is equal to 2n square by n plus 1 into 2n plus 1. So for n equal to 7, the value of alpha turbulent by alpha laminar should be find out. For this, we consider first thing is the kinetic energy correction factor for turbulent flow is given as alpha turbulent is equal to v0 by v bar whole cube into 2n square by 3 plus n into 3 plus 2n. Here v bar is average velocity, v0 is center line velocity. So v bar by v0 is also given by the equation 2n square by n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 for turbulent flow. So n equal to 7. For that we substitute 
n equal to 7 in this equation and we calculate v bar by v naught which is equal to 2 into 7 square by 7 plus 1 into 2 into 7 plus 1. So 2 into 49 by 8 into 15 and calculating that we get 0 0.8167 as v bar by v naught. Then substituting this term in the above equation we get alpha turbulent is equal to 1 by 0 0.01167 whole cube into 2 into 7 square by 3 plus 7 into 3 plus 2 into 7. So calculating this mathematical expression we get alpha turbulent is equal to 1.0503H. So for laminar flow alpha laminar is mentioned as 2. So, calculating the ratio alpha turbulent by alpha laminar is equal to 0.52919. So, approximately 0.53. So, <clears throat> this is the value of alpha turbulent by alpha laminar. Next question is, a straight fin of uniform circular cross section and adiabatic tip has an aspect ratio of 4. If the Boyart number based on the radius of the fin as the characteristic length is 0 0.04, the fin efficiency should be find out in terms of percentage. So here, a straight fin is there which is of uniform cross section and adiabatic tape. It has an aspect ratio of 4 and we have given Boyart number which is 0 0.04 simply by using the equation for the fin ml is equal to root of hr by k into 4 into 2 into 4 into l by d because already it's mentioned uniform circular cross section now we have to evaluate ml which is equal to root of 0 0.04 into 4 into 2 into 4 into 4 and we get ml is equal to 2.2627. Now, efficiency of fin is equal to tan h of ml by ml. So, efficiency of fin is equal to tan h 2.2627 by 2.2627. So, efficiency of fin is 0.43. So, which is in terms of percentage, efficiency of fin is 43%. So, we have evaluated based on this equation. So, already by our number is HR by K is 0 0.04. So, substituting that and evaluating and again calculating efficiency of fin by using the expression tan H of ML by ML. We can calculate this efficiency of the fin. So, in this way, we can calculate and we can solve the problems given in gate question paper. So, this is all, for, this is the description for today. If you like my description, please subscribe my channel. Please like and comment my videos. So, your comments make me to give you more information related to this chemical engineering. Thank you very much.